Latest on this breaking overnight news, two alarm fire in New Bedford forcing dozens from a downtown apartment. Yeah, police and firefighters all had to jump into action to help those who couldn't make it out of the burning building. Erica Ritchie joining us live at the scene with an update. Erica. Well, Danielle Patrick, good morning to you. The scene clearing around four o'clock this morning here at the Roosevelt Apartments on County Street in New Bedford. So there's really not much to see right now. The story, though, is the heroism that happened inside this building. So from the outside, we'll go ahead and show you the video that you're seeing live and then that we took when we first arrived here. No evidence of a fire, no broken windows, no charred siding, no hole in the roof to vent the flames and the smoke. Nothing to indicate the fire crews responded here to a working fire around midnight. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the pictures that New Bedford Fire Department posted. Well, they show you what they faced when they went inside and they tell quite a different story. These photos uh, that were taken by the New Bedford Fire Department showing the extent of the smoke and the water damage inside on the fourth floor where that fire broke out. It was a fire alarm activation that alerted them to the blaze and within minutes New Bedford Fire and Police were on scene and got right to work. According to the district fire chief, four companies rescued five residents, a young mother and and her infant were among them. Three New Bedford police officers, they did some rescuing too. They carried three trapped residents out of the building from the fourth floor. Good news this morning, guys. None of those residents needed to be taken to the hospital. None of them suffered any injuries. Uh, one dog, however, did die in this fire. Two of the officers also were taken to the hospital. They were being treated for their injuries. Um, I did call New Bedford police to get an update on their condition. Uh, no word on that at this time. Uh, the other ones who were involved, the firefighters and the other officer that were went into that building uh, to pull those people out. They were evaluated here on scene. Red Cross was also here to help those individuals who were not able to go back into their apartments. But you can see that the lights are on inside here. And so those whose apartments were not affected by the smoke and flames were given the all clear to head back into their buildings or building, excuse me, early this morning. That's the latest live in New Bedford. Erica Ritchie, 12 News.